I continue to admire how uh, Gavin Newsom take, took care of Hannity. If you take a look at Hannity continues to try to have Gavin Newsom play on his turf. But what Gavin Newsom did is because he had the numbers at the tip of his tongue, because he was well prepared for the interview, he was able to keep uh, Hannity on his heels. I want you to watch this. And this should be a perfect, a perfect way for Democrats, for progressives, whenever they go into the lion's dens. Check this out. We'll take it on the other side. We wanted to show you this exchange that really has everyone talking. It's between California Governor Gavin Newsom and Sean Hannity of Fox News last week. Now, the host made claims that Democratic economic policies are causing businesses to leave blue states. Well, that debate and Newsom's public comments regarding Florida Governor Ron DeSantis are leading to renewed speculation over the California governor's White House ambitions. Take a listen. I'm a small business person. I've started th- 21 companies, 1,000 employees. You're a great I'm, businessman. No, but it's like it, this is I in my your DNA. Background. I'm passionate about that. So California I. never held me back. It gave me every opportunity in the world. Right. All these folks, Elon Musk, Tesla, exist because of California's regulatory framework. Why are they moving the headquarters out of here? You know why? They moved their R&D headquarters money. back. To save money. They moved their R&D world headquarters back just three weeks ago. Why did they do that? The list is Was a it to save long. money? Pick out one there's company. no state doing more in R&D but than California. Is, That's these, the answer. These companies are leaving for one these reason. These companies are starting they're, for another reason. They're moving to increase their profits Be, and save because, money because you tax too much. Because we created the conditions where they flourished. And then they get to a point of maturity. And they get a point of becoming multinational companies. And they leave, why? That, and they move their headquarters, Because why? some find greener pastures or are looking for defensive postures as it relates to economic they're risk. They're try- but there's thousands. We have 47% increase in business startups this year compared to last year. Would you not acknowledge what are the, but acknowledge what are the, the seeds that are planted every single year? Not leave- our, it's, a, it's almost a point of success. We birth these folks. They move out of the house and thousands more okay, birth so every single the, year. So they build their companies here. And now all of a sudden they're paying that high tax bill. They were so they moved their headquarters money. away. No, jeez. I mean, with, by the way, do you support you, the idea? This is the honest way to be the fourth largest leaving. economy in the world. What are you arguing for? Mississippi's economic policy? Is that, I mean, literally, that's if what you're, you're asking, asking me. For. If I wanted the great, if Sam I wanted the tax, Kansas policy, I mean, it was a debacle. No economic is, growth. 71% of I the GDP in tax. America are blue counties. I would say 71% of the GDP in America are blue counties. Progressive policy. Policies. Okay, that are paying high taxes and 71% of the country's well, seven of the top 10 dependent states. Let's say you're right. States. Let's say you know we're subsidizing your states. Sean. Us- <laughs> I mean, that's it. There was so much that, more to this. Well, yeah, well, well. no, it, it, it was. But, you know, the, the argument real. that Sean was making is an argument that conservatives would make. I mean, I think taxes are too high in California. I think they're too high in New York. I think they're too high in Illinois. I know a lot of people that will want to move out of those states. <laughs> At the same time, you don't get a level of services if you move out of those states. And the the numbers, you just can't debate the numbers. Was that great or what? He kept Hannity completely off guard. And that is what you have to do because these guys only work with catchphrases. They only work with, with things that aren't necessary. Even if they're not absolutely false, they're not said in the right context. The way Gavin Newsom handled Hannity is the way every single right winger should be handled because we have to remember, in general, they are wrong. In general, they are lying. In generally, they do not have the facts, logic, or anything else on their side. We 
spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.